Hey YouTube, thank you for tuning in to Kiki Life of Tea and Taste of Frye, as you can tell here. So as you guys know, Taste of Frye is when I do a tasting and review on alcoholic beverages every Friday. So make sure you tune in. And today we're going to be doing a tasting on the brand Yellowtail, which is a Australian wine and it's pretty popular this brand of wine is everywhere it's even in Walmart I got it from Target and um, they both are very affordable this wine both of them was $5.99 at Target so check it out it's real affordable and you ain't gonna break your bank okay <laughs> So, as you guys know, when I do a tasting, I do a red wine and a white wine. So, that's what we're going to be doing here today. So, um, let's just dive right on in. So, I'm put this one to the side until I'm ready. Let me push this up some here. So, let's just start off with the red wine. So, this is Yellowtail's Cabernet Sauvignon. Hopefully, I said it right. <laughs> um, but it is a red wine. And it's their 2019 Cabernet. And what I do like about their wine bottle, it does have the scale on the back to let you know if it's sweet or dry. And as you can see from the scale here, it is on the drier side. So keep that in mind. And it said it has flavors of black currants, mocha, and spice. And it say enjoy with a steak family and friends and it has 13.5 percent of alcohol in it so let's just taste it so since i know this is dry and it is a red wine and it's deep red so it's probably going to be bitter i will get my cheese and taste that first just so that's already in my mouth to prepare for this red wine so as I told you guys before, my palate is changing. So I used to didn't like dry or red wine at all, but now I'm starting to like it. Not too dry, a little dry. So let's see. It's not too bitter. Um but it's doable. So yeah. You can smell the spices. But it's not very bitter like some red wines can be. So I like it. Gives it a thumbs up. Not too bitter. And it doesn't taste too drying. So it's not too bad. Um, I'll try it again. And when I'm in the mood for a red wine, I will try it again, especially by being $5.99. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now let's try the Chardonnay. Now, as you guys know, if you're a wine drinker, even if you're not a wine drinker, you hear the name Chardonnay all the time when it comes to wine so quite naturally i'll taste the chardonnay so um this is their 2018 chardonnay and it is on the same drying side you can see as the cabernet and it has flavors of peaches melon and a touch of vanilla and it has 13% of alcohol in it. And that's pretty much it. So let's give it a go here. So let me get this red out of here. So it don't mess up the taste. So it is a yellow color. As you can see, if you're not familiar with Chardonnay. It is a yellow in color. So, it smells sweet. You can definitely smell the peaches. You can smell the peaches more than anything. 
Now, let's see how it tastes. It is a little bitter too, but the peaches kind of help the taste. Yeah, not bad. Red has 13.5% of alcohol, and this one has 13% of alcohol. So the red has a little bit more than this, but they're both on the same level of dry wine. But it tastes good to me. So let me see. Let's see. Which one? Let me taste this red again because. And this had a corkscrew. This one has a screw top. So. You guys know how I feel about corkscrews. If you don't, check out the last tasting that I did. <laughs> and you'll know why. I'll put the card above, link to that video, as well as at the end. But corkscrew wasn't bad. You guys know I hate sparkling wine corkscrews. I hate those. So this was doable. Um, but this one's screw top, which I love. But anyway, let's taste the real one one more time without the cheese. I think I like the Chardonnay better as far as taste goes. Yeah, I think I'll go with the Chardonnay. But that is it to say I wouldn't drink this again but i do like chardonnay better um i do gravitate more towards white wines however red wines are kind of rubbing off on me a little bit more so it's giving the white wines a run for their money okay because once you taste all the same sweet wines you're starting to like okay i want something different um i like trying new things so drinking the same taste of wine all the time bores me and I begin not to like it anymore. So that's why I'm always trying something new. You guys go check them out. If you're a wine drinker, go see if you like them for yourself and come back to this very video in the comments below and let me know how do you like them. And just let me know what's your favorite wine or um, what's your favorite brand? What's your go-to spot to get your wine? So... Happy Friday once again, and you guys enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. Don't forget to like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next week for, once again, Taste of Friday. Bye!